with me now the winning trainer of Troublemaker, Gene Regal. Congratulations. He was coming off a big victory at Roosevelt. You felt he was ready for today. Yes, we did. Uh, the horse warmed up good. The bell said he was strong today, and so we used that in the background. He was good last week. A lot of people were talking. The track was certainly fast, but it was also a very cool day up here, and also the wind was blowing, but you turned in a track record for a three-year-old of 156. Does that surprise you? Yeah, kind of the day, the, the way Salute and them horses only went 58 in a piece. I thought maybe around 58 was all this race would go today. Bill said the cover ran out a little bit around the three-quarters marks. He was coming back around. He saw it wide open. Looked like he had a lot of horse at the finish. Right, he did. He opened up on him in the stretch, and he looked, he looked great today. I know everyone's happy back in Illinois. That's right. Congratulations, Gene. Thank you. Gene Regal, he is the trainer of Troublemaker. Troublemaker, the winner here of this three-year-old Colt Pace in the Breeders' Crown. Sam? Sure, and I guess when you take a look at the Glamour Division, you'd have to say it's still pretty much wide open as far as who's the best. Well, it's a three-horse race now for the championship <laughs> among the three-year-old pacing Colts. I think on the road again may have paced himself out of Horse of the Year, Harness Horse of the Year honors. It might be between Mr. Dalray and Aged Pacer. They're not included this year in the series, and maybe Fancy Crown, the three-year-old trotting filly. Well, there you see Troublemaker, who's the winner here this afternoon. There is more still to come on our Breeders' Crown.